Thank you, Greg. This afternoon, Tennessee State Representative Sheila Butt pulled House Bill 43 off the table. The law, if enacted, would have limited the junk food or non-nutritional foods that can be purchased with SNAP benefits. Now, last week, the lawmaker wanted to get a waiver from the federal government to change the way that public assistance dollars are spent on food. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pham tells us what this will mean for families that need assistance. Tennessee Representative Sheila Butt says due to the ongoing discussions regarding this issue under the new administration coming into Washington, the lawmaker decided to pull the legislation in hopes of federal action. Soda, ice cream and cookies are just a few things one Tennessee lawmaker wanted to ban families on food stamps from buying. However, the congresswoman tossed the idea after learning that no state had ever been granted the waiver from the federally run program. It was reform that stirred a lot of conversation around what grocers could and could not sell to people like Latanya Yost, who rely on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP. As a mother, it is nothing but the most important is to be able to take, for, take care of your family, um, knowing that you have to provide, you know, not just the housing, but, you know, also their electric and their water and food, of course, is the, another just most necessity. The mother of three has received food stamps for the last three years. She also gets assistance from Pathway of Hope at the Salvation Army. We are trying to get them to a pathway of success. Success is understanding what a nutritious meal is, how to budget your, your food dollars, and of course, going fresh with fresh ingredient, ingredients is always more economical and it's healthier. A new report by the USDA says that the number one purchase by SNAP households are soft drinks. It's frustrating for LaTanya, who says people abuse the system. Um, if you're going to just go out there and continue to splurge on certain items that you feel as if you just want to have but don't need, then of course that's going to you know, hurt the family in the end to where you don't have the needed items at the end of the month to provide for your children. Others say more regulations on what they can buy isn't fair for those who might want to enjoy a snack. Since the bill is off the table at the state level, the program will remain the same. A lot of programs that we have funded through the government, but through grants and things of that sort, are being abused. And to put stipulations at this time probably is long overdue. More than 1 million Tennesseans received food stamp assistance as of November, totaling to nearly $135 million. Reporting in the studio, Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Tim. The Food and Nutrition Act was established in 2008, defining eligible foods households can purchase.